Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Nonstark. I'm Jim, and I just watched a movie on Tubi. And it was called VHS Violence, semicolon, bootlegged. This is a 2022 unrated film. It's one hour and ten minutes, so it's a little bit on the short side, but that's a good thing. This is a found footage movie, and uh, I don't think I really realized that. I should have I should have known by the VHS tag in the title, um, because that's what the VHS series of movies are. Um, they're found footage. So this movie has uh, been broken up anthology style by, they're separated as tapes, tape one, two, three, and four. The directors are Dustin Ferguson, who did the segment tape four and the wraparound. Derek Hill did segment tape three. Sam Mason Bell did segment tape two. Uh, so where's segment tape one? I don't know. Those people also wrote their segments. Destiny Sora is the lead character named Destiny in tape one. And Dehuan Mac is a best friend in number one. And there's a homeless man in number one and a hiker in number one. In segment tape one, there's also best friend number two. And there's a guy in a hot tub. There is a bunch of really uh, no-name kind of actors and actresses in this. And I mean that with uh, no disrespect. They just don't have pictures on their IMDb placings. So that typically means that they've only done maybe this. Um, there are no information stuff on IMDb, including any ratings. There has been zero ratings on this film <clears throat> and that's interesting i think that is telling uh of the thing and the release date just says 2022 it doesn't give a date the production company was scs entertainment uh so let's try to get through this um found footage just watching the first tape um i realized that there's a lot of things uh, that I dislike about found footage, and this certainly is consistent with doing them in the entire movie. Um, so we have VHS in the title. We have the chapters uh, titled Tape. You can easily tell this was filmed based on reflection, and then later in the movie, actual showing of your a phone that this was filmed on phone. These people in each of these chapters, tapes, were filming with their phone. But yet the people who created this movie went way above and beyond to give it a VHS tape feel at nauseum. It is so much flicker and static and sounds of the sound, VHS tapes making it in a VCR camcorder, but there's no way for a second that we can believe that it is a VHS tape because of the way the film is shot and that it includes actual person picking up one of the phones and it's recording and um, it's just, I don't understand it. It was annoying. It was literally like so annoying to me and maybe I'm too touchy, I guess, but I don't know. That was like my entire notes for the first tape because I was so like blah on that. So it does the tr Destiny main character in tape one. She She's doing the thing where she's filming just everyday life things. They also do the stupid cuts between um, footage that are inconsistent. So at one point she'll be filming herself in the pool and then it shows her on a bridge with best friends and then and then it cuts right back to her in the pool and then it'll cut to something else. Like, why are we splitting the two scenes in the pool that are the same one scene? It just got interrupted with 
like no VHS tapes ever did that, that I can remember, and certainly on your digital phone, it doesn't ever get so shaken or whatever that it reorganizes your filmed clips. You have to manually do that. It's, it, it's <laughs> stupid. Uh, so anyway, she gets killed. I don't know. Tape 2 is a little better. It's a hiker on a British countryside. He gets lost, and then he gets found. When he gets found by this girl, uh, Annabella Rich, she is the actress. And honestly, she's the best thing in this entire movie. One, she's cute, um, but the way she uh, handles her character in this one particular scene uh, I really got a kick out of her. The look on her face just really was really well done. Uh, I looked her up separately on IMDb. She's got a lot of stuff coming out. It'll probably be a lot of low budgety stuff like this. But Annabella Rich was the highlight of this entire movie. But she's so little in the movie that I'm not saying to go watch this movie just for Annabella Rich. But she is the highlight. So yeah, he gets lost, she finds him, she says she's got a farmhouse not too far away, and she asks why he's there hiking, is it because of the legends, and he says, what legends, and she tells him the legend of how that back in the day, the community would sacrifice a virgin right before each harvest, so that they would have plentiful growth of whatever, corn crops, whatever. He's like, no, I never heard that. But my granddaddy once told me about children in the corn. And she's like, no, 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 no. No, it's this other legend that makes people come here um, about the sacrifice. Uh, so they walk a little bit further. Of course, it's nighttime. And uh, he has a phone that he's recording on. And it has an enormous light, must be, that doesn't drain batteries. Any of these nighttime scenes are so well lit that it's, they got to have the best iPhone 37 with a massive camera uh, flash that doesn't drain your battery. It's a brilliant thing. But anyways, guess what happens? He gets uh, killed, sacrificed. So they're going to have plentiful crops. Um, take three takes place at Halloween with a group of kids. This is where there was some very inconsistent sound quality Again, they went heavy with the VHS effects to make it look like that. There's no way to believe that there is a group of these kids using a VHS tape recorder. So stupid. Um, they get chased around. They're in a trailer. They're like walking through a cemetery. There's no scares. There's no jump scares. At least there wasn't for me. I was so annoyed by the effects that it, it took me so... It removed me from caring about any characters, which I don't think um, they did a good job of. And that, that's a hard thing to do with found footage, is to, to get a buy-in for um, any of the characters that are doing the camera holding. Um, but this movie was trash. It's an hour and ten minutes of trash. Um, I don't recommend it. It's got a really cool-looking cover. Um, but other than that, it's, it's a horrible movie. Annabella Rich, she's the highlight. She's in it for like two minutes. It's a, it's a tragedy. Don't go watch this. Tubi, uh, movies are hit or miss, and this one was definitely a miss for me. Um, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff for more great movie reviews and unboxings and anything else that I can think of. So,